Okay, welcome back to another CSS Basics tutorial where I teach you how to use uh, cascading style sheets for your HTML. Uh, CSS, you remember, is what we use to style our HTML and to give it shape and to give it uh, different colors and weights and styles. So in this video, we're going to talk about styling the anchor, anchor link or the anchor tag. Now the humble anchor tag is found all over the internet and it looks just like this and it, this is the default style so the default style uh, in every browser is going to be a blue color and it's going to be underlined so this is the default style for anchor links um, we can change those styles by using some CSS and so the way that we do that is that we look at the um, at the A selector here so we're going to use the A tag is our selector. Remember we do the curly braces, make a space, and then the easiest thing to change uh, for a font uh, is the color. So we'll start with that. So you just say color, and then we can make it any color that we want. So we're just going to make it red so you can see that we styled it to a red color. So it's really just that easy to make your links uh, a different color. Now this is going to change every single link on your web page, um, every A link, every A href, whatever, is going to change to this color here. <clears throat> a couple of other things that we can do: uh, we can change the size of uh, the link, and so these are all uh, properties, by the way, that apply to uh, all pieces of text on your page. So this could just as easily go for a P tag or an H1 tag this is how you change the color and the font size and all of that. Uh, so here is font dash size colon and then uh, on the web everything is um, automatically calculated in pixels. Uh, that's the the main base unit that most people think of uh, when they use the web and so I'll teach you just pixels right now. There are other units that we can use to measure things on the website but for right now we'll stick with pixels because that's okay the base font size for most uh, web browsers is 16 pixels this is roughly equivalent to uh, 12 point font so if you're accustomed to using uh, Microsoft Word or something like that where the base font is 12 points then 16 pixels is equivalent to 12 points so that's how we came out with that is the base uh, font size and you can see nothing has changed here. Uh, whether we have this or we don't have this, nothing changes because that's the default size here. Uh, now we can, uh, as we begin to make this larger, so that's 17, 18, you can see that it's growing. And even to 20 pixels. And if you really want to get crazy, you can go as high as you want. You can see that there's your link has been made very large so that's 1000 pixels um, a little bit unrealistic 100 still unrealistic but you could do it so you can change the font size um, to very large sizes if you want to we're going to stick to 20 pixels right now and then uh, <clears throat> what we can change next is um, something called the font weight. Now the font weight, if you think about uh, the weight of a text, has to do with whether it's thin or thick. Okay, so uh, the default is normal uh, for the font weight and the most common thing that we're going to change to is going to be bold. So you see how it bolds? It bolds, so that's the normal weight and then that's the bold weight. So that's the normal thing that we're going to change. Uh, with the font weight property um, and again there there are several uh, other choices that you can make throughout CSS for each of these properties I'm not going to show you those today because they have to do more with the case cascading properties of CSS and you can learn more about each of those if you want to uh, in fact I have a great page here that I will uh, put into the the notes at the bottom of this video so if you want to learn more about uh, some of the more advanced styling of CSS links then you can look at that page. <clears throat> uh, the next thing we can change is font style 
So font dash style and normal is the default. But the other one that we use a lot is going to be italic. So if you wanted to italicize uh, the the a uh, tags, the uh, text inside of your a tag, then you would say font style is italic. Now you can also do one called oblique. So if you know what oblique is, it's similar, but it's not the same. You can see the oblique, all it does is tilt it on its side, but italic gives you an actual italicized font uh, if there's one available in that font family. Um, uh, speaking of, we can change the font family, so let's talk about that. Uh, font family, um, the default uh, is usually going to be a serif font like this. It's like Times New Roman is what it is. Uh, so there's a basic serif uh, font family and the font family is basically what uh, what font are you using. So you can determine uh, what font you're using. There are a couple of basics. There's serif, there's sans serif, which means uh, you can tell it doesn't have the little um, the little serifs uh, that help to lead the eye through. Uh, you can tell that this is the difference between Arial and Times New Roman. So Arial is sans serif, Times New Roman is serif, and uh, there are lots of. I'll do a whole other video about font family, so um, you can check that one out, uh, and I'll show you how to use some different web-based fonts. Uh, the next one that we'll do is um, let's say we want to get rid of the underline. Sometimes uh, as far as design wise goes the underline looks a little uh, not good. <clears throat> so we'll use something called text dash decoration. So this is the decoration of the text and then if we say none then it will get rid of the underline for all of our links. So now you know nothing is happening our link just doesn't have anything there. Uh, we could also do uh, a few different ones here. We could do a line through, or yeah, so line through is like a strike through. Uh, we can do overline, which puts a line on the top of the link, or obviously the default is underline and so you can declare that property as well. We'll just say none for now. And then um, that's pretty good on the styling. So these are going to be a lot of your basic uh, text properties. So this is going to work for any sort of text. You could do this for a paragraph tag or a heading tag. Um, so that's going to work for most of your things. And when you think about you know what you would normally do in a text editor these are some of the basic things that you would think about changing the uh, the font family of of the font itself uh, making things italic or bold or changing the color of the size and then with a the link specifically there's a decoration involved in it and so let me show you one more thing so let's say uh, sometimes you've been on a website when you hover over then the link changes so let me show you how to do that. Uh, it's very easy. We take our A tag and then we have something called a pseudo class. And there are many different pseudo classes, but the original ones are um, basically attached to the anchor links. So we do a colon and then we do hover. So the hover is a pseudo class that we can use with our anchor tags so that when we hover over it then it does something so we put our curly braces and then we say it's essentially saying when I hover over the A element then do this okay so maybe when we hover over it we want that underline to come back so we just take our text decoration we copy it and paste it and instead of none let's do underline and now when we hover over it, we get the underline of our text because it's going from none to when we hover, it's applying this uh, rule here. So 
that's pretty cool. We could also change the color to um, well normally this is red right so FF0000 that's red but if we change this to let's say uh, 9 then this is still red but it's just a different kind of red that's very dark let's do something a little more subtle uh, how about B okay so you can see that it goes from a regular red to when we hover over it, it's uh, now a dark red and it's underlined. So you might not want to be quite that drastic. You know, applying C um, might be a little bit easier on the eyes or D. So that's a little bit more subtle change there. Uh, but anyway, you can change the color. Uh, you would be able to change any of these back to the normal. So let's say you wanted to take the italic off then you would just bring this down here and you would say font style of normal so now it straightens up you see that okay uh, so this is how you create a hover state uh, for a link and normally I wouldn't do this kind of stuff I would just uh, make one subtle change like this so that it helps people whenever they roll over it to know okay something is happening here this is different than just regular text it's not red text on the page this is actually something I can interact with uh, it's one of the reasons that most people tell you for usability you should not have uh, text decoration none on an item now there are really good reasons and really good times to be able to do text decoration none <coughs> for your links uh, but if you just have a general link in a paragraph uh, most people say for in terms of u user usability it's better to leave that on there and not get rid of that uh, although from a design perspective I completely understand why you know you would want to take that link out of there but from the user perspective they can scan through the page and know where the links are very quickly and you have to remember that this web is not only about looking good the web is about getting stuff done and connecting information both to your website and to other people's websites so uh, you have to have that in mind as you as you go through and you do uh, these different styles and design uh, changes to the HTML uh, well that is anchor links and uh, if you have any questions please leave them down in the comments below uh, otherwise continue to watch uh, the rest of the CSS videos and uh, I'll see you next time